The 2017-18 flu season broke records, hospitalizing 900,000 people. Reporter Ashley Mackey was in Tempe to see how ASU Athletics is combating flu season this time around. It's the start of fall, so while for some that may mean more pumpkin spice lattes or getting a head start on their holiday shopping, for athletes, it's a time to be more aware of their health. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, seasonal influenza activity, or flu season, begins around October and November, peaks between December and February, and can last as long as May. With the constant close contact ASU athletes experience on a day-to-day -day basis, awareness and precautions of the disease are in place, including flu vaccinations. Well, ASU does a really good job of making flu vaccinations available for everyone, whether it's staff, regular students, um, and we're no different. So we make it available for all the student athletes. Although the CDC identifies annual vaccinations as the best way to prevent flu, ASU Athletics does not mandate the shot for its students or staff. Instead, they offer alternative precautions. Other things like he offers vitamin C or um, healthy food habits or sleeping habits. And if you, he's not available to talk to, there's also other doctors and trainers who are willing at any time. And it seems like some prevention tips are already sinking in with the athletes. A lot of times we try to not share water bottles or not share food or forks, spoons, utensils, because that causes a lot of germs to be spread. We have a couple of people called germaphobes on our team who don't let that happened ever. The 2017-18 season was the first season to be classified by the CDC as a high severity across all age groups, something that coaches at ASU took notice of. I think you should be doing everything you can to, to prevent and stay safe and stay healthy, you know, especially right now that we are in the middle of the season. We don't want anybody sick. We don't want, you know, we want the whole team healthy. McCarty says there's things they can't control, like needing to all come to the same place every day, but they're working to manage what they can. In Tempe, Ashley Mackey, Cronkite News.